Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my soldier brothers and sisters, how's everyone doing today? In a galaxy far, far, far away. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for all your soldier fun nudes and opinions right here, right now. My friends, this is going to be a long video because Chris Schmidt has come out and he is going to talk about, well... The history of bolster. I mean, a lot of people have been asking, bolster, yeah, we're going to bolster things. Well, we got some communication from Bioware. This, my friends, is the type of communication I like to see, and I wish Bioware would do more of it. So let's take a deep dive and see what Chris has to say. He says, I wanted to chat about the history of Bolster, how it's evolved over the years into what is now known as our level sync system, and how we've been tuning and adjusting level sync based on your feedback. One note on terminology, I'm going to refer to Bolster as pre-7.0 technology and level sync as post-7.0 technology. So pre means before and post, well, just means after. We use several terms interchangeably over the years, but the purposes of this post, I'm referring to the technology difference between the two. In 4.0, and might I add, probably one of my favorite expansions of SOTOR, and I kind of wish we'd go back to that style, we introduced the concept of bolster throughout the wider game. It was previously launched to specifically address PvP Warzone balance in order to help undergeared players. But the 4.0 release brought the feature to PvE content. When your character visited a plan that they had completed on the, the story on, we shifted the character level down to a range we expected players to be in for that planet. Side note, I was not a fan at all of this bolstering thing since I'm a, I'm a solo player. I like to solo content and do stuff and do it as fast as I can if I haven't done it before. And even though I've been playing this game for a very long time. But I'm the kind of person like with World of Warcraft. I like to go solo run old raids, old dungeons and stuff like that. I don't want to be bothered <laughs> with being level synced. That's not why I'm there. It's trying to do it by myself. But it is what it is. I guess it's fun. That's fine. I mean, your characters are right now are so over over tuned that it bolt. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna be wiping all kinds of things off the face of the earth. He can he continues, and I won't. Bolster enabled the game to give better and more relevant rewards for higher level players. Going back to older content, we could finally reward max level characters with useful items or currency, whereas previously they would receive rewards far below their actual level. The reverse was also true. We could bolster players upwards in order to give them more content options to lower level players. This mostly occurred in PvP war zones in order to keep the uh, keep the queues more active and provide a better war zone experience for those players in the lower levels. Unfortunately, this implementa implementation of bolster brought a host of problems with it. To peel back the curtain a bit, that system relied on applying an ability on the player and the ability would dictate the level and stat scaling to apply to the player. All this data was defined by hand in tables, with specific stats defined per planet or per difficulty level per piece of content. Not only was this difficult to maintain and update, but it introduced a host of bugs and undesirable problems that we worked hard over the years to address. Sometimes lower level mods would actually provide better stats in PvP, for example or the bolster ability would fail to apply in operations or flashpoints, leaving one or more players overleveled for the content and making everyone their best friend, and introducing the exploits that allowed players to reliably force the bug and easily complete content balance for several levels below their own. Now, there's been a big contention in the community for years that if there's a bug in the game, is it really an exploit or is it part of the game and you're just doing something that's part of the game? I'm not going to say either way of how it should be, but I'm just saying we're going to argue semantics on this one. This implementation, he, this implementation, he continues, also limited the ideas we had the future repeatable content. So for 7.0, we invested in modernizing our bolster system and effectively removed it and replaced it with the current level sync system. Level sync works from a new code base that is more predictable and less prone to exploita exploitive because reading's hard, behavior designers can effectively enter item rating ranges per planet piece or of content, and the NPCs in that content are using the same scaling and stat ranges, making the balance relationship more predictable. This was a large change, so it required lots of per content testing and iteration. We made this change last fall and went through several PTS iterations. We were able to address lots of balance feedback back then and continue to do so to this day across the game in order to get the system feeling better with each iteration. This new system came with a few side effects that removed some of the quirks of the old bolster systems. 
One oddity we solved was the way primary stats were scaled in the older bol bolster system, especially when leveled down. They were far more accurate, and the system merely capped stats, so everyone over the defined thresholds had identical stats. With the level sync system, primary stats are actually scaled downwards according to how much of each stat characters have equipped. So if you have a high mastery build, you can see more mastery than another player who is running a high endurance build in the same scaled content. One side effect of the new system is that all stats are scaled down when level synced. Under the bolster system, tertiary stats such as accuracy, critical rating, and alacrity were never scaled. This had both advantages and disadvantages to how players would experience content. The plus side is accuracy and alacrity thresholds that players had taken care to optimize would be maintained when playing lower level content. But stats like crit not scaling made older content more trivial than intended which set the wrong expectation for game balance when facing other players in other mods or other modes such as PvP or NPCs in operations and the master mode flashpoints. We intend to update the new system to maintain accuracy and alacrity thresholds when scaled up or down in the future update. This would be very similar to how the old system worked for accuracy and alacrity specifically. Another side effect involves relics. These typically provide extra stats when they are activated or triggered on their own, as all stats now scale in level synced content. There, there currently isn't a method to scale the extra stats provided by relics, so they currently provide no stat bonuses when activated or triggered with level synced. We've been working on resolving this problem and intend to address it in a future update. There is similar behavior with augments and color crystals. We identified some issues both internally and thanks to your feedback on the PTS server, see, they are listening, where it was possible to manipulate augments and color crystals to provide huge stat bonuses outside of the bounds of the system. We have identified the root cause of these bugs and have been working on solutions to both to be introduced in future updates. Finally, we've had a couple of issues prevalent in PvP modes that were identified and fixed incrementally over several updates. PvP War Zones and Arenas in 7.0 introduced a valid item rating change in level 80 matches. The level sync system was intended to allow players with gear from 318 through 326 to compete and upgrade their gear, while syncing down players with higher gear such as 330 to, to a ceiling of 326. The system was also intended to reduce the stats effectiveness for equipped gear below 318 minimum threshold such as 306 gear. Once 7.0 launched, players noticed that they were not less effective wearing 306 gear in level 80 war zones and arenas, and in fact, and in some cases, their equipped stats were the same or better than 326 gear. We found the root cause of this bug and resolved this odd behavior in a 7.01 patch. We have also determined the root cause of a bug that was causing item ratings and level sync content to be inaccurately computed. This, didn't res this did not result in a major stat change, but was the cause of some stats appearing to be worse after 7.01 update in content that was level synced. And also the players with better than 326 gear in war zones and arenas had a slight stat advantage. We have to fix this bug coming in 7.0.2. I have a fear there's going to be a lot of 7.0 point, put your number there, updates. One last thing I want to address is companions and their effectiveness in combat. Yes, I have noticed that. Sometimes they have really sucked. The root cause of companions suddenly becoming worse tanks or not drawing aggro or dealing damage as expected or not healing you as they should was a bug in how their base stats were applied when loading into a planet or area. This caused some of their stats to be missing or inaccurate, which made things like their taunt ability or area effect damage abilities miss their target NPC every time. The fix for the companion issue is also coming in 7.0.2. An additional note on companions after their effectiveness, the presence base stat does scale in level synced content to reflect amount of base presence a player would expect to have in their level synced range. This would apply to presence earned through character level up and from equipment. However, the system does not scale any bonus presence earned from raising the influence levels of companions, so companions with high influence levels will always be more effective across all content where companions can be used. All the fixes described above for the 7.02 update can't be currently seen on the PTS, and we continue to keep an eye on your reports and experiences both in the live game and PTS server. We made over 100 bounce tweaks and adjustments to existing content thanks to your feedback in the 7.0 PTS cycles, and continue to address any areas as they are reported by players, our internal testing, or our playthroughs of the game. 
Hopefully this post sheds a bit of light on some of the issues and resolutions with level sync in the game. We're still very excited about the content possibilities unlocked by modernizing this huge and fundamental system of the game. Thanks, Chris. Well, thank you, Chris Schmidt, for that very enlightening and very detailed uh, thing about level sync and bolstering. Friends, I've noticed some of these things as well going in, especially the companion thing, but I think that might be something a little bit different. Uh, but I know some of you have been talking about this, and I went through the forums the other day before I knew this post was out there and saw that people were talking about this and how some of their stats are not as you know happy as where they should be. But over 100 tweaks to the system to make things better, that's awesome. We have another update uh, being worked on coming out with 7.0.2, and that's awesome, and I'm pretty sure he had a three in there. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm sure, that maybe, maybe I'm just thinking it. Maybe I'm just predicting the next update patch to come down the road to fix some more bugs. But this is good. I'm glad that he, uh, Bioware came out and talked about some stuff and communicated with the community uh, with what's going on. And I love these little sneak peeks behind the scenes, underneath the hood on what's going on because this is the type of communication that the community needs and is dying to have. And it's something I harp on Bioware a lot for and I'm not going to stop until Bioware starts communicating better with everyone in the game. Just saying... Communication's key, y'all. It is. <laughs> it's very important. So, my friends, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on all this. Have you noticed this? Are you happy with this? Are you on the PTS and going, yep, this is much better than what it was? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the like button. The more likes we get, the better the algorithm likes us, and we want it to like us because we just do. And also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Come part of the family here at Boomin Nation, the freak show of YouTube, the black sheep of gaming. And as always, my friends, ready to be kind. It's about community. And don't forget to spay and new to your Wookiees, my friends. We'll see you later. Good day.